throttles. Okay, so I am replacing my throttle again. I have actually used quite a few throttles over the years, and I wanted to show you what uh, what my idea is. And uh, and so I started off with this one on my paramotor, um, the Parajet finger trigger. The worst design I've ever used. It's just so uncomfortable. I mean, I'm left-handed, but uh, generally I use my two fingers for the uh, for the brakes, and uh, and it's just it's a horrible design. Uh, sorry, Parajet, I just don't like it. And so I wanted to switch to a, uh, a, a you know an underlever style, and I wanted to find something you know cheap I didn't want to spend the the money on uh, on you know manufacturers with just ridiculous prices on throttles so I got this one and I'm not going to tell you where from but um, equally as horrible um, it's it's a brake lever from a push bike that's been modified and obviously it's had the cable on the other end um, and the problem I had with this one was the travel um, just wasn't enough Sorry about that, somebody at the door. Um, yeah, so the travel just wasn't far enough on uh, on the lever. And if I show you what I mean on uh, what I had to do for it. So this is your kind of normal Walbro uh, carburetor that's on most uh, most of our paramotors. And uh, and this little um, lever here is what you pull in with your, with your throttle cable. You just have to move the little lever from there to there. Uh, usually you don't have the middle hole just ignore that but it pulls on the end of there and with this throttle this janky crap piece of crap it would only move it maybe just three quarters of the way it wouldn't open it all the way so what I had to do was drill another hole in the in the arm and move the bracket down the little thing that attachment point uh, and so it would open it all the way and in turn that caused its own problems with a, a stiff throttle and um, it just didn't work very well so <laughs> this is going in the bin um, what I come across was one of these a 3d printed throttle or 3d printable throttle um, from a guy on uh, I'll put a link in the description but uh, it's Moose Smith I think his name um, and he come up originally with this this design and you print it off it's in two halves you can print it um, and what's cool about this is it's got a further travel on the on the lever but it's also got a um, a cruise control and how that works is when you open it it tightens up these uh, these posts onto the onto the lever to hold it in place so you've got a cruise cruise control um, the original just had a stop on the top and it didn't have anything on the bottom so I asked him if he would uh, mind making one for uh, an electric start which he did and so what I've got now is uh, is is a throttle that I can make myself. Um, it's got the start and stop button. I've also put on another button inside for the uh, for my smoke system. And and so I'm going to build it. I'm going to try it out. I've got the original cable from the Parajet throttle. I've just put a new cable in there. So we're going to wire that up. Um, and I'm going to show you how it's done, or how I'm doing it, so enjoy.
into a couple of problems while putting this together the, uh, the the case at the bottom with all the cables uh, obviously this originally was designed for uh, just just a normal stop not electric start the extra cables kind of there wasn't enough space so it didn't quite fit together so what I've done is I've put uh, a tie wrap the cable tie couple on the end um, I live with that it's all right I've also put some shrink wrap shrink tubing on the end so it keeps it nice and neat and doesn't pull out or I've glued it in there but that's uh, just a bit extra um, final thing to do is to put the uh, to put the wrist strap on so I'm gonna put that on next and uh, I haven't got a big enough shrink tube to put on the actual throttle so I'm probably just gonna use electrical tape for now just to try it um, but then once it's on, looks okay. Um, let's go and install it on the paramotor, see if it works. Let's test it. Let's see how oh, wait. Let's see if we can get it to start up. Oh, we start it on your back, folks. I know a few people lost fingers. No joke. I'm not going to clip it all the way in because I'm going to test it. Try and set me back. I'm gonna go stuff now, it's just. So I was out at the minute. Right. Oh, this is an heavy bugger. Right. Actually, do you know what? Safety first. Let's clip these so they don't go into me. Prop or anything. Ooh. Okay. Right. So, I we start on the bottom? Yep. Got yet? I say, I say. I would say that's working. Sorry, it warm up a little bit. It's not been started for a while. See if it stops. Yes, it does. I start on the bottom just so you know you can't catch it because it's in like a little recess lock. So we can start it. Actually, you know, a friend of mine, Ian, 
he uh, once told me because I made a common mistake of putting it underneath, and you know, isn't that? But you know, it's it's always a chance of it going into the prop. So, a simple thing you can do is you just put it over instead of under, like most people, put it over your your forearm, and then even if you put your arm back, it doesn't. It's not able to go through. I'm happy with that.